Well, it's important to make the distinction between this initial kind of quick and dirty approach to the immediate disarming of the uh, chemical weapons stockpiles and the more permanent long-term procedures for their removal and destruction. We were at a briefing uh, this time last week actually at the OPCW headquarters which gives you an idea of the speed at which this mission is moving and they described this short-term kind of procedure. They said they would be running over things with heavy machinery, so using trucks and tanks and even smashing up some of the technical equipment with sledgehammers. So as they said, their initial task is to render the equipment immediately unusable. And how long is this going to take? Well, initially, they expect probably around a month for the first of the sites to be visited. In terms of the long-term procedure, that's expected to take up to a year. When we spoke to them at the headquarters last week, we were given a, a kind of background technical briefing by two of the experts who are now in Syria, and they described um, three key aims. So they would be looking at the verification of the disclosures made by Syria, so making sure that the disclosures they'd listed were accurate. They would be uh, helping them to meet that deadline and then they would be making assessments of the facilities themselves so as well as dismantling them as quickly as possible by any means necessary they said they would also be looking at the sites to see whether any of them were suitable for dismantling other weapons held elsewhere in the country